Hi, I'm Tali Frankel and I'm a speech and language therapist. Today we're going to be talking about rhyming. Rhyming is one of those critical pre-literacy skills. It relies on a child's ability to hear two words and to be able to discern where they are the same and where they are different. Rhyming words are always the same in the middle and also at the end, and that ability to differentiate between differing sounds at the beginning and similar sounds at the end of a word are critical phonological awareness skills that support literacy development. If you suspect that your child is not developing rhyming skills, there's a very easy way to test. First of all, your child should be able to tell when two words are rhyming words or not. So they should be able to tell that bat and cat are rhyming words, but that bat and ball are not. They should also be able to generate their own rhyming words. So if you give them the word bat, they should be able to tell you that a rhyming word for bat is cat or fat or mat. If they can't, here are some tricks and strategies and games you can play at home to develop rhyming skills in your children. First of all, you can use pictures and ask them to say the names of those pictures. Encourage them to really hear the ends of those words and gradually build up their ability to hear when two words are rhyming words or not. Once your child can discriminate whether two words are rhyming words, you can expand that set to three words and then see if they can identify which two of the three are rhyming words and discriminate the one that isn't and you can build that up to four words or five words. You can also play matching games where you put a series of words or pictures on one side of a page and then matching rhyming pictures on the other side of the page in a mixed up order and help them to join the rhyming pairs together. Another fantastic way of developing rhyming skills is to use books that have rhyming schemes in them. So Dr. Seuss, Julia Donaldson, these are fantastic books that all have rhyming schemes built into them. Once your child is familiar with the story, you can encourage them to help you to finish the, the rhyming lines. So you can start by saying, the sun did not shine, it was too wet to play, so we sat in the house, all that cold, cold, wet, and then encourage your child to say, day. And as you go through rhyming books, you can point out all of those lines and the rhyming couplets that go together. Another thing you can do is there are lots and lots of commercially available games like rhyming lottos and bingos where you have a board and you place cards on the table and you each have a chance to pick up a card and then match the word to its rhyming counterpart, nest and vest. You can also do things like make up silly rhyming stories. So for example, you may start by saying, there was a bee who lived in a tree. Then get your child to say something like, he invited me for tea, but I hurt my knee and I went off to the sea and see how long you can go developing different rhyming stories and encouraging different rhyming play. If you remain concerned about your child's ability to either identify or create rhyming pairs, please don't hesitate to contact a professional.